plastic. So, the next bedroom. And the last. The last bedroom, yeah, yeah, the actual last that's bedroom. <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant. And this is the biggest bedroom, so yeah. this one's gonna be the most elaborate. Yeah. We wanted mm -hmm. this one just to be completely wow. Um, we know what the 400 one is, but it, this has to be dialed yeah, up like. It, it's gonna be bigger, everything in this is gonna be bigger. The, the 400's nice and sort of. Feminine and, and everything. This is going to be sort of a, a big mm, room, yeah, yeah. <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so it's going to be really over the top with it. Yeah. So you might see, obviously, that we called it the Marie Antoinette room. That's not going to be its official name. It's yeah. just going to be in the style of Marie Antoinette's um, bedroom in the Petit Trion. So it's going to be that sort of style, and yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, we've well we've. Like changed a little bit already, haven't you? As to how you how, how you lay it out and everything. This is the hardest part now is trying to figure out everything, where it's going to go, how it's going to go, because we have to get all the sockets in, light switches, and they have to be exactly exact. in the right place, don't they? So, this is the hardest bit really doing this. For Definitely, thinking. yeah, working everything out. So yeah. You have to imagine how the room's going to be completely finished yeah <laughs> it's, it's nowhere near that <laughs> no. so we have to know where plug sockets are going we need to know where the light switch are going yeah. we need to know where the lights are going mm -hmm. so it's a bit of a mismatch yeah. in the at the moment as well mm -hmm. so this section behind us all of this has been adjusted at some point and added in so we're trying to get our head around what we're actually going to do with that because it doesn't flow with the rest of the room. No, no, and it's taken up space really, what's well, not, not necessary needed. there no. at all. So, the plan is well, mum's plan <laughs> back to more destruction is we're going to take this whole section out and we're going to push the wall back because it's been built forward. So, we're going to push it back to give us a little bit more room in this, in this bedroom. Yeah. And it gives us a space to actually put the wardrobe in there so it's sort of recessed out the way. Yeah, because it's a big wardrobe. It's going to be, this is going to be the biggest bed in here, isn't it? Yeah. It is yeah. going to be big. The wardrobe's big and you're planning on even like a... a, a we'll have a little salon chairs, set, so. yes. Yes, we'll have obviously two chairs and a little sofa in here, mm -hmm. um, as well as a, a massive wardrobe and a, a big, big bed. Yes, so, a very big bed. Yeah. A big bed. <laughs> so plan for now, after we've got all of the old electrics out, is to get all this panelling off, we're going to strip all that down, see what's behind it, and then the panelling that we took out of the 400 bedroom, we're going to try and reuse and put that on so it matches the whole rest of the, like, the design really. Yeah, definitely. So we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what happens. Come on then. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just mark that there. I'll just put it in the salon for now. Yeah. Right, I'll start getting these side parts off yeah. for the doorway. Yeah. And then I'll get the coven off. Yeah. I'll probably well, just the coven split there. So. Yeah, but we're coming all the way back to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll probably just take Well, get it all off anyway because uh, 
It's just easier. Well, we're going to need a lot to get that as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'll well, not Sasha. So, <laughs> we're back at it, <laughs> and what started is, well to be honest we thought this was going to be the easiest room, yeah. to be fair, and as you can see, our plan hasn't really gone according to plan, no. so <laughs> Mum took the panel off and we've discovered the chimney, this is for the um, the rate, like the oil burner, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, in the cellar. Was put in later, wasn't it? Probably yeah. in the seventies, was it? Eighties. So that's the chimney for that, yeah. which obviously we never knew where it actually went, and now we know. So that's why this paneling has been sort of made to this sort of shape. I'm guessing originally it would have just been flat across there, and they've stepped it out to to fit that in. So that's the plan gone out of the window for having the wardrobe there. The next plan was, that's the old doorway going into the hallway in the 400 suite that we're boxed up. And then we've got this door next to it. So the plan was to take this section out here so we can fit the wardrobe in that part. But, <laughs> The next concern is that we've got this big beam here, which we just think is for the doorway because it just goes up to the top there. But we're not too sure with it, so we're just waiting for someone to come over to give us some more advice on if it's structural, if it's just purely for the door frame, because the proper stone wall that's holding all the beams and all that up is that one that goes right the way along this wall. So, another dilemma, Mum. Aye, yeah. And all this is just for a wardrobe. And we were only going to do the electrics. Yeah, the only, and we can't get on with the electrics because this panelling is, again, obviously this, this room, we don't know exactly what it was because you can see it's been joint up here, then it's been joint up there, and then there's an odd space here. And this panelling, so this panelling is the design that we have in all the tower. But then this one is what we've got through all the shower rooms. And then on the bottom section of that one is this panel, which doesn't fit at all because it stops at the skating board where the rest doesn't. So it's been sort of like jointed all together. Like even this one you can see they don't even line up. So, we're in two minds with what to do, aren't we, Mum, with it all? <laughs> oh, I know what I do, but there's always an obstacle in our way every time we're going to do, do something. It. So, we're going to quickly tidy up, and then there's going to be two things that are going to happen. One, that chimney's going to come out. <laughs> or two, that beam's going to come out. The chimney's not coming out. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. So, we'll that watch and see. <laughs>
we went with the second option rather than taking the fireplace out, the chimney. We took the beam out and luckily nothing's fell down, fingers crossed. Another day. Another destruction. Another room. Destroyed. <laughs> and more panelling. <laughs> Honestly, we're going crazy with panelling. We've gone insane. <laughs> we're sick of seeing it. <laughs> so, now we've got this whole section out. Like, mm. already it looks better, doesn't it? We're saying it about does. the space. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It, it, they didn't look right then. The, the cupboards, no. They were put in after. To hide this basically. Yep. Um, well, we've noticed that as well. Reason being is the floor. So this was like underneath the cupboard. You can see the parquet actually goes around the original design. And the cupboards came up to here. So like you said, obviously they'd been added in at some point. They yep. weren't original to the, the room. No. And the panelling that was covering the chimney that we've uncovered, this was the panelling which is the panelling for the hallway. So they've obviously just used that and then just painted it all and just sort of, yeah. well, it's just, it's been a bad budge job, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it didn't match, it didn't no. sit right. No. And I think the time we get the the gold on and yeah. all of the details. I just think it looked better because there were cupboards, but they were pointless cupboards. You couldn't use them for anything. So yeah, you couldn't turn them into panels because they didn't look like panels, so the way we've done it now, it's a bit more symmetry with it, isn't it? Yeah, so the plan is to box this section over here. We're still going to use one of the cupboards, Yeah. so it mimics the one over here. Yeah. So we've got this cupboard, which has got the top part and then the big bottom part. So we're going to mirror that over on that side by using that. Uh -huh. And then we're going to take a bit of this panelling, so we'll have the small part and the big part, which will cover this part of the chimney. And then the recess part will be this big panel behind you, won't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's given us like an extra sort of nine inches of depth in like in the room now, in isn't room, it? Yeah, yeah. Which is given us like pretty much most of the depth of the wardrobe. Yeah. Like well, about half the depth of the wardrobe. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be as imposing in the room then, is it? No, no, I think it'll look far better in there. Yeah, and it doesn't look as cluttered on out now, so that'll just be one big panel there, mm -hmm. then it'll step back out, and then it'll go along there. Yeah. So, that is the plan for today. More panelling, more cutting. No! <laughs> but it is the last one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get to it. Yeah.
Another job done? Yes, one more we weren't planning, no. but still. <laughs> no, no. There's a couple of things that came up that we didn't expect. Mm. Obviously the chimney hidden behind the yeah, panel. That was a big surprise. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have a clue that that was there. No. But yeah, I think the way it's turned out now is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, we didn't even plan this. It was only when you said, oh, well, what about yeah, it was taking the, that hole? Yeah, that was the, seemed the only option to showcase the wardrobe instead of so, just having it stuck yeah, somewhere, somewhere, wasn't it? It's where you can see it. Well, yeah, obviously we were the whole day planned on just doing the electrics. Yeah. And then because we couldn't place the wardrobe where we wanted to in relation to the bed, so that went to put it in the corner, so yeah. that took the panelling off and taking... Mm. It's just yeah. one thing led to another. As it does. Yeah, as it does. But now the way it's turned out, it, yeah. looks, it, it looks amazing. The room looks big. I mean, you won't be able to see it on camera, really, how good the room looks. Um, but taking them out, those cupboards, well, it's for what they were. Less, less sort of fussy now. Yep, uh -huh, um, absolutely. And because it's given us an extra, I think was it six, yeah, six, six or nine, nine inch, inch, nine yeah. inch, it's given us depth back mm -hmm. into the room. So the, the wardrobe's obviously recessed into that now. And it's it's a big wardrobe, because obviously this is the biggest room we've got. Mm -hmm. So we want this to be a, a nice showcase yeah. piece. And but we'll... now there's no compromising with the bed now. You can get the bed that you want. Yeah, it it would have been a compromise, I think, if we'd have had to put the wardrobe anywhere else. Yeah, we would have so... had to go with a smaller bed. And mm -hmm. we didn't want that. The one thing that we want for this room is a big a bed. Big bed yeah. yeah. So now we've got the big bed and we've got the wardrobe mm -hmm. and it all fits in perfectly. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We've got the old doorway. So in the recess now is the old doorway that goes into the 400 suite. Yeah. That's all blocked up and you put some insulation in. Just soundproof in here. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. it just looks brilliant. It's it really great. does. It does. It does. It looks good. So I'm happy with it. <laughs> tomorrow we can get on with the job that we planned to do. And start getting the electrics yeah. done. When did we plan to do it? Yesterday, were we? Yeah, yesterday yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we planned on doing when that. Did it, yeah. So <laughs> it's it's these things like you said. Obviously, it's not as simple as oh, we'll just chuck a wall like there or yeah. chuck a wall like no, there. No, definitely not. No, no, no. no it's Once not. you see the room finished, then it's fine. You just think, oh well, yeah, that's easy. You put it in. You put that there mm -hmm. because it's already done. But trying to pre-think. All of these decisions yeah, absolutely how high the light should be yeah like the distance it should be yeah. where the light switch needs to be yeah everything mm -hmm. um needs to be sort of planned at this stage yeah doesn't it? absolutely yeah yeah so yeah that's why it's taken Two not days. as long as what the no. 400 did but no. it's taken a bit longer we've than one well. planned yeah yeah <laughs> we've done well really well I, I love it yeah i love there's one more panel to sort out and then this room's done, ready for sanding. Yeah, 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 which is good. All falls on to the ruby red room. Yeah. She's sanding that now. Mm -hmm. And chugging along. Yeah, and then it'll be on to this, the Marie yeah. Antoinette room. Mm -hmm. That's so exciting. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, it's more work going on, and it's brilliant that it's just gone so fast as well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can start getting to the, the decent stage of putting the moldings on. Yeah. So if you have, please like the video because it massively helps us and just give us a comment to what you think to it and mm -hmm. um, obviously you've seen colour samples in here and the layout Yeah. and we will see you in the next one. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, so okay. see, you see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.